That's Stray's tutoring? Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we'll be talking about the barrel eye fish. This is a fascinating and unusual deep sea fish known for its unique transparent head. It's found in the deep dark waters of the Pacific Ocean and this fish has developed remarkable adaptations for survival in its harsh environments. But one of the most striking features of the barrel eye fish is its tubular eyes which are encased in a some sort of transparent or fluid filled dome on top of its head. This allows the fish to see in multiple directions, often upward to spot prey against faint light from above and forward when needed. These tubular eyes that it has are highly sensitive to light, helping it detect prey in the near total darkness of the deep sea. With its otherworldly appearance and specialized adaptations, the barrel eye fish provides scientists with a very unique glimpse into the evolutionary marvels that occur in the planet's least explored habitats, and that is the ocean. So let's jump into some more key facts about the barrel eye fish, and we can learn a lot about uh, where, how, and really what is it doing down there. So let's get into some of the key facts. First and foremost, the barrel eye fish is found at extreme depths. The barrel eye fish it inhabits between, say, some 2,000 to 2,600 feet or 600 to 800 meters where sunlight it is <laughs> barely penetrates. And what you'll notice is a lot of the uh, sea creatures this deep have some type of bioluminescence or some type of, uh, you know, light that protrudes out. Same thing you see here with the barrel eye fish or, you know, even uh, something like the comb jellyfish. So uh, at these incredible depths, it's incredibly challenging, right? You have high pressure, low temperatures, and very limited light, which the barrel eye fish has evolved to handle. Another very cool fact about these guys is they're elusive and rarely seen. So when you get a video of these guys, you are literally sitting on gold. The barrel eye fish are rare and difficult to observe in their natural habitat. Their discovery dates back to 1939, but because of the death they lived at, they're mostly known from dead specimen caught in nets. Until, of course, we've had very high technology. You see MBARI and other research institutes that are able to capture live images like you guys have seen in the beginning of this video. Next, the most... Uh, talked about subject, their eerie and alien-like appearance, where with this translucent head, glowing green eyes, and, you know, its finless body, almost, the barrel-eye fish has an appearance that may describe be described as alien-like. So this strange look is a product of unique evolutionary adaptation to life in the deep sea, and we'll have some honorable mentions at the end of this video, and what you'll see is a lot of these deep sea creatures are weird we it's, it's out of this all it you know out of this world it almost alien like and this is because of evolutionary adaptations they look way different because they evolved into their environment and a lot of it you'll see they're bioluminescent and very weird so let's talk about its transparent head well the barrel eyes fish entire forehead is transparent and this allows uh, for it to see right into its skull so this clear dome is filled with liquid that protects its eyes and lets them rotate freely within the head. This is an adaptation for spotting prey above in the dark and its deep sea environment. So its eyes, the tubular eyes, unlike most fish, the barrel eye has tube shaped eyes designed to capture and capture in as much light as possible. So these eyes give them a great vision for low light depths on the ocean. And originally, scientists thought that these eyes were fixed and only looked upward. But recent studies show that they can rotate forward to focus on prey directly. So this is a very interesting finding where we thought they were just set in that one spot and can only look up, but they can actually move to look upward and then even forward. And lastly, light sensitive eyes. What more do we know? Well, its eyes are incredibly light sensitive and it 
it's uh it allows it to detect the faintest of bioluminescent uh, glows which are common among deep sea organisms so this helps us spot potential prey or predators in near total darkness so that's all we have for the barrel eye fish of course there's more ongoing studies about this very very weird creature so what i did was i added some honorable mentions and first we have uh the angler fish these are you know other uh animals that are weird like the barrel eye fish and the angler fish is known for its bioluminescent lure and it has this uh and like this thing that dangles in front of its sharp toothed mouth to attract prey in dark depths so the females can grow quite large and are equipped with this fishing rod light uh that lights up due to bacteria creating an eerie glow in the uh, blackness the males are much smaller and latch onto females for life in some species fusing with her body that is insane next we have the gulper eel or the pelican eel it's known for its enormous expandable mouth which almost looks too big for its body so this oversized jaw allows it to swallow prey larger than its whole um even helping it survive in food scarce environments so when threatened or disturbed the gulper eel can inflate its mouth which creates an intimidating silhouette to ward off predators lastly you have the giant isopod probably a meme that you guys see going around and this is an oversized deep sea relative of the shrimp and crab and looks like a giant pill bug so giant isopods are scavengers and have adapted to feast on dead creatures that drift on the sea floor. So it looks like they kind of uh, eat at the bottom and they have their armor, segmented bodies and antenna give them an eerie and prehistoric look. So these guys are very, very scary. And that's all we have, guys, for the honorable mention. So you guys have seen the barrel eye fish. You've seen some of its scary relatives. And when I say relatives, I don't mean they, you know, uh, they uh their common ancestors or, or you know that related but you get what i mean related as in scary weird right <laughs> uh let me not say weird i don't want this thing coming in my sleep but that is all we have guys so if you guys enjoyed this video uh leave a like comment subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next one we have some other cool videos we have tutoring videos we have other videos where we talk about an organism or, you know, just a certain topic. So if you guys are into that, go ahead and check out those videos and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.